So, okay, here we have our Asus laptop. It's the uh, F555L series of the Core i5, fifth generation Core i5 processor. We're gonna upgrade the hard drive to a solid state drive. I'm gonna remove the regular hard drive. I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna clone it, then I'm gonna put it back in. So let's open this thing up. Don't wanna do that. We got a nice soft bench top here. So we're gonna remove all the screws on the bottom. Now on this model, I think there's at least three different length screws. So you wanna make sure you put the right screws back in the right holes, otherwise, well, you have little dimples on the other side and you don't want that. I usually just lay them out in the same order that I take them out in, so to speak. That way there's no confusion with the front face of me. These two back here are quite long. So, got all the screws out. That's just the RAM access panel. I think we need to remove that. So now, we gotta remove the top here. Now you don't wanna just go yanking this off because there's two ribbon cables in here. Um, one attaching the keyboard to the motherboard and one for the power switch here. So we have to just get it started here. There's a tool like this you can use, a little spudger tool. Don't use like a metal screwdriver because you can leave tool marks. I usually just like use my little thumb here, just kind of get it started along the edge here. And just get it opened up, up like that. And work it around. Again, you can use a tool if you don't have a fingernail. You can see it comes up fairly easy on this model. Just got to be careful. And the city brown drive stays in there. Okay, so just a gentle little tug, but not too far, not too hard. So as you can see, you can again see those two ribbon cables. I gotta detach those from the motherboard very carefully. Kind of have. I used to have three hands here, but we'll just carefully flip that up. You can use a little small tool for this, but I've done this enough times where I got the feel with my fingernail. Just want to pop those up carefully. And we'll remove the top panel, get this inside. And here's a hard drive. So I got to remove this little I.O. board. Right here, there's a little I.O. board right here on the side for the USB ports, the SD card reader, and an audio jack. I'm gonna take that out. I have to disconnect it over here. These are always stuck on here pretty hard. You gotta be really careful. Pulling this ribbon cable off the hard drive. Don't just yank on it, just be gentle. So now there's, there's one screw right here that holds this little I.O. board in. There, we got that out of the way. And there's uh, two more screws right here we gotta take off. And I'm gonna slide the hard drive back. Lift the cradle right out of there. 
we're going to just take the hard drive out. There's two screws on each side. Pretty simple. So now I'm going to take the hard drive and I'm going to clone it onto a brand new solid state drive and put the solid state, solid state drive back in and we'll fire it up. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. So I just cloned this old hard drive onto a brand new 500 gigabyte solid state drive. So now we're just going to install it back into the computer and button it back up. Now, when I clone drives, I have a dedicated computer here I use just for cloning and partition stuff and other things like that. So the cloning goes pretty quick. It took about 20 minutes. Um, if you purchase one of these little gadgets here, these are USB 2.5 inch drive USB adapters. Got a USB, USB 3.01 here and you can get one for the C-type USB if your computer as a C-type USB, you can use that one, a little faster I think, and then this type. Uh, you can get these online for about eight, ten bucks, pretty cheap. You may you may only use it once, but you got one or you can loan it to a buddy. Now, as far as software, if you if this were like a Western Digital hard drive, for example, you could go to West, WDC.com, Western Digital's website. You can download the free version of a Cronus cloning software, but you have to have at least one Western digital drive in the loop to use their free software, otherwise it won't work. But another one a lot of people use is called the Mini Tool Partition software. Mini Tool Partition software, you can download that free. It works pretty well. Uh, go to like majorgeeks.com and you can download it from there or right from the author's website. Just be careful when you install it on your computer that you opt out of all the extra bloatware they try to install along with the extra program you need. It's a problem with free software, it usually comes with baggage like that. But in that case, you would have to use one of these types of adapters and you can clone it right in your computer. So just food for thought. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the solid state drive back in here. Don't wanna drop it. Basically going to do everything in reverse. Set that back in there. Going to put these two screws back in. Now you can use a hand screwdriver, of course, but I prefer this whenever I can. It just seems to go a little quicker. I'm used to using it, so I'm not stripping out screws and all that kind of stuff. Now we're going to put our little I.O. board back in there. Always takes a little fudging to get this back in the right spot here. So, got to set down in there. I am going to use a number zero Phillips screw driver on this little guy though, just in case I want to break the board. Got to reattach here, being real careful not to flip those up too hard. Make 
sure you got it in all the way. So we got the hard drive mounted. Now when we put this guy back in, I'm going to attach this one first. It's the shortest of the two here that we have to hook up. So so I'm just going to line this back up on the hinges. Just got to get your hands in there. Be gentle. All right. Just want to kind of make sure you get that in there the first time because there's nothing worse than putting this all back together and your keyboard's not hooked up properly. <laughs> now we're going to hook up the power switch. tricky sometimes. And I know there's some guy out there saying, do it this way, do it that way. Well, not really a Good way to do it other than the right way. Oh jeepers. Need three hands for this. <laughs> All right, finally. So we got that, make sure that's in. Make sure the clips are all fastened. We're going to set this bag down in place. Let's make sure everything snaps on good. Now what I like to do is after I get it back together this far, I'm not going to put all the screws back in until I fire it up. Make sure everything got hooked back up right. So there, we got a new 500 gig solid state drive in here. Now we're gonna turn it on and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna turn this on for the first time. Yeah, that went a lot quicker. There, I'll boot it up. Seems quite a bit faster. It was a good clean clone, so to speak. Probably get some Windows updates. And put the screws back in on the bottom. I won't bore you with that. And should be all set. I hope the video was helpful and I appreciate you watching. Um, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I would appreciate it very much. And thanks for watching.